Hey there, somebody just asked me about Be Cool's uh, schedule, where you can pause your repricing if you want on a schedule. Maybe you're wondering why people want to do this. I'll explain about that. But I just went to look at my settings and found out that mine was turned off. Oh my gosh. I don't know who turned it off. I don't know why. I don't know when. Maybe it was me and I forgot, but I don't think so. I don't know. Anyways, mine is off. I got to turn it back on, so I figured I'd bring you along for the ride. I went to Be Cool, Repricing Rules, and in here you can see that we have five rules, and you can see that we only really use two of them. This is our main one, Get Buy Box. Over here, the little clock under Schedule lets you tell your prices what to do. I want to turn on a repeating schedule. I want it to pause at 2 o'clock my time. And the way I came up with this is I kind of did the math on it. And 2 o'clock my time is midnight on the West Coast. It's 3 a.m. on the East Coast. Not too many people are awake and actively shopping then. I want my prices to go to my max right there. Well, okay, I want my prices, my stuff, to stop repricing until 3 o'clock, just one hour. So it's going to pause at 2 a.m. Central Time. It's going to be enabled again at 3 a.m. Central Time, which is, correct me if I'm wrong, let me think about this, 1 a.m. on the West Coast and 4 a.m. on the East Coast. Still a pretty safe time margin. Most people are sleeping unless they're drunk shopping, and I don't like missing them, but I won't miss too many of them. So when my prices start repricing again, I want to go up to my max minus 20%, not $20, 20%. Basically, that is a safe but high point to reset to. And the reason I'm doing this is just in case there were some low ballers on there and we all kind of got dragged down following them in that race to the bottom. Maybe some of them sold out and people are just matching. I'm going up to the top. Maybe some others will sell out and people will tend to follow up to the top. And the hope is that all of us will be a little bit higher priced when things start up again. When things start up again, we'll compete as usual. But instead of starting at the bottom, we're trying, we're doing what we can to help ensure, to help encourage that race to start at the top. So maybe we can sell at a little bit more of a profit while still remaining competitive for 23 hours out of the day. That's the plan here. I'm going to set this up to go, you know what, just as a test. Thursdays tend to be a little lackluster, right? I'm going to turn it off for Thursday and Friday. And I think that'll be a good test to see if this affects my sales overall. So it's going to happen five days in a row, Saturday through Wednesday. And we've had this turned on in the past and we didn't see anything detrimental happen to our sales. And theoretically it should have, could have helped us to sell at a little bit better profit margin. So what I'm doing now when I set up this test is let it go for five days in a row every week and then don't do it for two days. If I start seeing a pattern where my sales go up on Thursdays and Fridays, then I'm going to know that maybe this is hurting things a little bit, or possibly the opposite. If I see that Thursdays and Fridays become weaker than the other days, then I'll know that it's helping and we should switch it on for all seven days. So I'm going to save my settings here. And the other thing I'm going to do is open up a Slack thread that we have dedicated specifically to documenting changes that we make in our repricer. And this way, if I forget all about this in a month or a month and a half, when one of us happens to pop back in there and look at that thread, like when I make the next change that I want to document, I can see that, oh yeah, I made that change six weeks ago and forgot to check back on it. And then I can be reminded to look at my Thursday, Friday sales and see how they're doing and decide if we want to stop this all together or if we want to go ahead and set it to go for all seven days of the week. And if I'm really smart, I'll set myself a reminder on my calendar or my phone to pop up and check this at the end of the week too. 
So that's how this setting works. That's the theory of what it might do for you. It's up to you to play around with it a little bit, test it, and see if it works on your inventory. Maybe you can sell more stuff or the same amount of stuff at a little bit better profit margin and make Amazon a better place for sellers. That's all for tonight. If you're not on our email list, I would love for you to join perryandkim.com forward slash list. And we don't send out a lot of emails. It's not salesy stuff. We're trying to get a little better about keeping in contact, though. And we'll try and send out some, some fun and special stuff for people who are on our list. Goodbye. Have a great day.